Hello everyone. Welcome. Thanks for joining. Today we will talk about a very special person from God's word uh, and that is Ruth. Let me read for us a verse and then you know we will go ahead and talk more about her. Ruth 1 and verse 16. But Ruth said, "Entreat me not to leave you or to turn back from following after you. For wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you lodge, I will lodge." Your people shall be my people and your god my god. Ruth is um she is introduced in God's word as a Moabitess who did not belong to the communities of God's people at that time and she is introduced as a widow with a very unfortunate um circumstance where uh, her husband had passed away and not only that you know in her home there were other debts her father-in-law and her brother-in-law had also passed away and the land in which she dwelt with her mother-in-law uh, was not doing that well anymore so uh, Naomi her mother-in-law had one decision that she made which is to go back to her uh, homeland and uh, continue you know with with the community Uh, that she was born into so naomi was making this journey and she encouraged both her daughters in law to go back uh, to their own parents and see if they can find a future uh, now one of the daughters in law went back and uh, she similarly encouraged ruth but this is ruth's answer you know we see her saying that please don't uh, ask me to leave i will go where you you are going and she also says your people shall be my people and your god my god so ruth in all these days of living with naomi and her family had understood something not just about the family but the god whom they worship and so you find a confident person in the most adverse of situations making a choice a choice of faith so in the decision that ruth made she was actually wanting to follow god and yes she says um to her mother in law that she would be with her mother in law but her intention was to get to know this god more and the people of this god much more so uh, that is ruth's commitment you know ruth commits herself you could say uh, to god uh, in in making this choice and we also see how she trusted god as things unfold in the life of ruth we see that without her knowledge she goes and starts working in a field uh, which was owned by a man called boaz and little did she know about jewish traditions and the fact that this man is a kinsman redeemer who would later redeem her and also marry her but she had no idea and she just goes but you see that god was orchestrating things in her life things that uh, she couldn't even plan on her own and that is the god we serve so she completely trusted god Uh, for her life ahead we see that ruth was a very virtuous woman she worked hard in the fields and even boaz takes notice of that and you know he comments about her and says that you know you are a hard worker you are a virtuous uh, woman and so she had gained uh, the respect of people around her by the kind of life that she lived and overall you know what a beautiful life we see here because god's redemptive heart is seen in the life of a person whose situation was so hopeless you know uh, a, a very dark past but god gave her a bright future he redeemed it and we see how uh, she became the one of the women that are you know who's women included in the genealogy but ruth's name is in the genealogy of matthew and that's what god did for her she's in the genealogy of uh, Jesus uh, I mean in the book of Matthew so you know, God did incredible things in the life of uh, a woman who seemingly had a hopeless situation and God can do the same for us let's pray together Heavenly Father we thank you for your redemptive work uh, in the life of Ruth and Lord we know that that is the work that the Lord Jesus has come to do and become a kinsman redeemer so Lord we We thank you for what you're doing in our lives. Thank you for the way you're orchestrating things in us as we trust you, Lord. And Father, we just commit ourselves into your hands. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.